In this video tutorial, I will go through the basics of APA in-text citation using Microsoft Word and what to include in the reference page. This will help you to format your academic and research papers according to APA guidelines. Let's jump right in. What is APA in-text citation? APA is the style of documentation and sources used by the American Psychological Association, hence the abbreviated form APA. In the academic sense, in-text citation acknowledges the source of information and locates the corresponding entry at the end of your report in the reference page. In-text citation includes the author's last name and the publication year inside a parenthesis. Sometimes it can also include page numbers, timestamp, headings, subheadings, and paragraph numbers as well. The APA in-text citation tells your readers where you got the information from. Let's look at three simple steps to generate and complete the in-text citation using Microsoft Word document. The first step is to find the information from an external source. That external source could be a website, a book, newspaper, or any other media. The second step is to cite the information. So you will tell the readers where you got the information for, from. For this, select references from the toolbar on Microsoft Word, click on insert citation and add new source. The third step is to paraphrase the information in your own words without changing the meaning and to avoid plagiarism. Let's demonstrate in-text citation by working on an example together. The question is, what is 3D printing? For the purpose of online education and quick access to materials, I will use Google to demonstrate this example. Let's go online and find some information about 3D printing. So type the question in the search toolbox here, and then you will find a lot of materials related to 3D printing. Select something that is relevant to your assignment. So I'm going to select this web page here and go through the information quickly and pick something I find relevant and important. Select the content, copy it, and then paste it in the Word document, like so. I have completed the first step, which is to find the information from the external source. In my case, the external source was the internet. Step number two is cite the information that is telling the reader where I got the information from. For this, click on references, insert citation and add new source. You will see a window pops up that will prompt you to insert some important bibliography details. Select the type of source that you think is appropriate. It could be a book, journal, conference, proceedings. In our case, it's a website. And then look for the name of the author. So let's go back to the website and look for the name of the author. If you don't find information about the author, use the name of the organization that published this article. In this case, it's Sculptio. 
let's go back and select corporate author and write Sculptio. Next, we find out the name of the web page. The name of the web page is essentially the title of the paper. Every article must have a title. And the title of the article becomes the name of the web page. Copy the content and cut it here. Next up is the name of the website. Name of the website is the creator of this page. That is Sculptio again. So go back and write Sculptio here. And then we find out the year, month, and day of publication. Usually, this information is given at the start of the article. If you don't find it, scroll down to the bottom and look for the year of publication. You will see that the year is always mentioned at the bottom. And in this case, 2020 is the last time this page was reviewed or revised. So you go back to the Word document and write 2020. Leave the month and the day options blank and finally paste the URL. URL is the link to the page that you are referring to. And that is available at the top in the search toolbox. So let's copy this and then paste it in the bibliography field. Once you have completed the form, click on OK and the, and the window will close. Put a full stop and now you have completed step number two, which is citing the information. The third and one of the most important step is to paraphrase. By paraphrasing, you will rewrite the author's ideas in your own words, but without changing the meaning. This will also help you write a report free of plagiarism. I'm quickly going to paraphrase this. And now we are done. So we have fulfilled the three steps. Moving on, next is to generate the reference page. The reference page usually comes at the end of your report. To do this, we will use the example that we are working on. Let's come to the bottom of the page and start a brand new page to create the references. Okay. To do so, make sure that the style selected is APA 6th edition. Click on Bibliography and then click on References. This will generate all the references that you have used in your report and it will be done chronologically. So now you know how to do the in-text citation and what to include in the reference page as well. I hope that with this short video tutorial, you are able to understand the basics of in-text citation and how to put together a reference page. If you found this video helpful, please put a thumbs up and ask away any questions that you may have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.